Hey, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out a new build for the dev channel and a new build for the beta channel, which were released late last week on Friday in my part of the world. And for the dev channel, we get build 26,220.5770. And for the beta channel, we get build 26,120.5770. And as Microsoft has been doing over the last couple of weeks and months, the dev and beta channels are basically identical builds and mirror images of each other. Now, something just to take note of, Microsoft says the major build number has incremented to build 26,220 with this flight. This build number will only be useful for builds flighted to the dev channel. And Windows 11 version 25H2, as I did post last week, will be released as build 26,200 and is now available in the release preview channel. And I'll leave that video linked if you would like some more information. So once again, just a quick update as to what's new in the dev and the beta channels for last week. Now, obviously, Microsoft focuses on Copilot Plus PCs, and the first feature is new Microsoft 365 text action in click to do which is a Copilot Plus PC feature, as you may well know, where click to do now recognizes tables. Whether it's a table, Microsoft says, you see shared over Teams in a meeting, a school calendar, from a photo, or any other document with an embedded table, with tables in click to do you can now highlight any simple table and immediately send to Excel, copy or share it, all without retyping a single cell. And what we're looking at here is click to do with table highlighted and actions to convert to table with Excel shown in the click to do menu. Now, just take note, Microsoft says this is an early preview of this action and may sometimes not work correctly. However, table detection quality will improve over time in subsequent flights to the dev and the beta channel. So just take that into consideration. And the next new feature is you are now able to view Microsoft 365 profile cards with Microsoft saying rather than opening Microsoft Outlook or Teams or anywhere to look up someone's profile, you can get straight to their info about them thanks to the integration of Live Persona cards for Microsoft 365 in click to do And it's also said that you can see how to contact them or pass collaborations without leaving your flow. And Microsoft says this new action is available on email seen in click to do So how this will all work is you would press win and click right on an email and if it's part of your work or school's organization, the profile card is displayed as we can see in the image provided. And just take note that you must be signed into your PC with a work or school account, which is also an Enter ID, and have a Microsoft 365 subscription. And this change is not yet rolling out to insiders in the EEA, so just take note of that. And here's a nice accessibility upgrade, where Microsoft says, it's adding a new feature in Narrator called Braille Viewer that allows you to see on-screen textual and Braille representation of the output shown on a refreshable Braille display. With Microsoft saying, that this is a helpful tool for sighted teachers, AT trainers, developers, and testers who do not read Braille or have limited to no access to a Braille display. Teachers of students with visual impairments can use Braille Viewer to help improve students' Braille skills or follow along in classroom as the teachers can visually see the textual and Braille representation on the screen while the student reads it on their connected Braille display. And Microsoft says that to open Braille Viewer, you would have to start Narrator using Win Control and Enter and then press Narrator key, Alt and B. And as you can see, a new floating window opens. Contents of this window are updated as you continue to use Narrator. And Microsoft says the number of Braille cells shown on the viewer depends on the size of your refreshable Braille display. If an 80 cell display is connected, the viewer shows 80 cells. If no display is connected, the viewer shows 40 cells by default. And you could also change the display size and position of the viewer using settings menu on the actual viewer. And I'm always in favor of accessibility features being improved in any operating system and or browser, as you may well know if you view the channel. And then the last improvement and change just to look at for the purpose of this video is Microsoft says you can now find apps installed on your PC or apps available 
in the Microsoft Store directly within Windows Share Window using Find Apps under the Share Using section. And I have posted on this previously when it was a hidden feature. And I personally am not in favor of this. I consider this kind of to be ads in your Share menu. But nonetheless, Microsoft has pushed that out now with the latest dev and beta channel inside of preview boards. And then over and above that, as always, we get fixes that are rolling out. And then because we are still in preview, there are a couple of known issues which is expected. So that's more or less, guys, what's new in last week's dev and beta channel builds that rolled out late on Friday. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.